going on guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about serpent the guy that didn't get nerfed and uh yeah i'm gonna be honest with you i wanted this guy to get nerfed i wanted something on, from this guy removed because he's got so many overpowered things so first let's talk about his ability so he's got power lock immunity special lock immunity heal block fatal effects he's immune to all of that so that means you can't really use fatal fatal champions against him he's also immune to call snap which counters kate and it reduction reduces the duration of your combo bleeds by 90%. So that can kind of block like Archangel unless you have deep wounds. So you can't really use Kate or Archangel so far. And then he also has this fear debuff, which basically counters Juggernaut because it's a non-damage debuff. It doesn't do much. It kind of like messes up Tigra a little bit, but that's just it's pretty much there to like stop Juggernaut, I feel like. Because yeah, he's just he's just a nuke. And he's also a mystic. And then he also reduces the potency of incoming power drain and power burn effects by 60%. So that can stop like Dr. Doom as well. And uh, other champions that power drain. So that's three meta champions that you can't use against Serpent. Kate, Archangel, Juggernaut. Just, just like that. Just blocks them. And then if we move to the other abilities here, he gets uh, four charges. He gets the crazy potent resistance up, which is, is... I don't know why it's so potent, man. Like... This guy already has one of the highest helpers in the game. He has 15% critical resistance. And then he has 10% block penetration, which... Okay, cool. And uh, an 8 charges against our Pierce. And then they just don't even let you dex this guy's specials. Cannot be avoided with a dexterity match here, Which means you're just going to have to take lots of block damage. And here... He has this awakened ability where each call for charge grants him attack, scaling how close the opponent is to the wall. So if you're closer to the wall, you're going to have to take more damage. Because he's going to gain more call for charges throughout the fight if it lasts too long. And then he's also going to be stronger. And check this out. He has this 40% inexorable passive for 3 seconds when he gains a charge. Which means you can't really push him back to his wall. So it's even easier for him to get get you in the corner so that's cool and then i said that if the fight you know takes too much time he's gonna be stronger well look at that he has a 125 percent chance to gain death immunity that is not death immunity that is death immunity and survivability because there is an eight second death immunity which basically heals him as well because he recovers 1.25 percent of the max health for each drag consumed so that prolongs the fight, that healing prolongs the fight, that death immunity prolongs the fight, and watch this, it cannot be staggered or nullified, which is cool, and then he gains 10% of a bar of power per second. And the fun thing about this 10% of a bar of power per second uh, is that it just happens. It's not a buff, it's not something you neutralize, it just happens. So if you get unlucky and the 25% chance here triggers when you're using someone like Tigra or Wiccan, he is going to get that power gain, which you cannot stop with Neutralize because it's just it just gives him a power gain. There's no buff considered there, which is very cool. And then he's also stun immune during the opponent's specials. Not that big of a deal, but he can't really use some of that, uh, that like, can stun lock him, basically. So I feel like that's way too many things for one defender. But uh, yeah, let's, let's move here to the counters for Photon and Bullseye before we go to the counter for Serpent. So let's see, Zemo is a counter for her. Black Eye is pretty decent. Bullseye actually was made after Photon. Same thing with Chills. Those two were not made to counter Photon, but they do. Crossbones is a really good counter for Photon. Falcon is a really good counter for Photon. Kate Bishop is nice for Photon. Definitely, if you if you want to slow down the fight a little bit, you can go for that 75% chance to tranquilize to almost shatter debuffs down. Kingpin, really good counter for her. Mant is probably the best counter for Photon, just shuts it down so well. Shang-Chi, really good for her. And Valkyrie can be used for her as well. So that's like 10 counters. Let's move to Bullseye. So you have Archangel. If he's awakened, you're going to struggle a little bit if you get bad RNG and he purifies the bleeds, but he can be used. It's one of the most common counters. Bishop is really nice. If you're good at repairing, when he goes for the killer instead, you go for a stun and then you hit him and that stun is going to get, he's going to go as a passive which is going to allow you to actually push him to two bars of power, which then you would not take much block damage because, you know, it's not going to be an SP1. I'm not going to say Dominus a counter because it's RNG. Uh, Emma Frost 
can be used for bullseye. I don't have too much experience, but I've definitely done the fight. She can actually fail his killer instinct evade and uh, also goes bleeding near the diamond form. Iceman, good card for bullseye for sure. He, he does struggle uh, when you fight a 7 star rank 3, but he definitely is a counter for, her, for him. He's bleed immune, he can prevent that SP1 block damage. Kitty Pride is just great, he's just amazing for this guy. You take no damage, he gets power gain, really nice. Mr. Sinister said the best counter for Bullseye, I don't know if anyone wants me to explain why, you basically can't even die when you use this guy for Bullseye. And then this champion, made for Bullseye, definitely the second best counter for him. And then Nightcrawler, if you're skilled enough, you can dex that SP1 uh, fully because of his dex ability. So I consider him a decent counter. He's also a 7 star now. And then Onslaught, in my opinion, the third best counter for Bullseye. Definitely counters him. Storm is decent if you don't have another option. You're going to have to take block damage. But she is amazing because you get so much prowess from the SP1. And then lastly, Weapon X is an okay counter. You're going to need to practice that fight. But he definitely counters him. So is that like another 10 counters? Maybe. So let's check out for Serpent. We have Absman here. If you go for this form... Uh, you get 9,000 energy resistance. That's cool. I sometimes use Absin for Serpent, but I never finish the fight. Why is that? Because I cannot pause my form by intercepting. Because I'm always just baiting specials when, when fighting Serpent. And then I just ran out of space. I can't even heavy uh, before I throw my specials to get those nice to get that nice benefit from crits. Because I'm just always in the corner. I'm always baiting specials. Chavez probably the best counter for this guy because if you know how to play the fight you can even not bait a single special unless you know he throws it when you're blocking which can happen but most likely isn't gonna happen so Travis counter counters almost everything that this guy has but she doesn't counter the healing he's still gonna heal prolong the fight which maybe you know if you ran out of negative zones it could be a threat from you know his power gain and uh, all that healing but uh, she still still cannot prevent the death immunity, which with additional nodes, that could be an issue. Like we just saw it with, from the, the previous matter we had where the death immunity just lasted for like 20 seconds or more than that, which is just insane healing. Like Chavez cannot stop that. He's literally just going to heal 50% if there's like, if we're talking about that specific node. Up next, Kushala, I think she's the second best counter because she can heal most of that block damage. She can make the opponent go aggressive. She also has debuffs to stop some of the healing from the death immunity with despair. So she's a decent counter for him. But again, there's no way to counter the death immunity. And if you get unlucky with her power gain, you're going to take an SP3 and <laughs> it's a game over. Um, up next, we have Rintra. Rintra actually, I, th I feel like he's the only champion that can shut down his death immunity consistently. Because as you can see here, against cosmic and superior champions instead the neutralized chance is 100 percent potency is 200 percent and uh it's like it's like the it's duration is six seconds so you can counter this guy's uh death immunity consistently because of the 200 percent potency so he's good but look at this guy's stats 11 percent chance to crit and then serpent 15 percent crit resistance so also, Ranger is a 6-star, and Serpent is a 7-star. So if you fight a 7-star, it's going to be even harder to crit with that Challenger rating. So, yeah, t most likely, you know, with Ranger, right, if you don't crit too much, you're not going to deal much damage. Because, of course, you know, Serpent has that crazy potent <laughs> resistance up, which just make him more tanky. So, without critting, you're not going to see much damage. But uh, there was one fight, one time, where I crit against a Serpent with, like, 59 ruptures. It was like one out of thousand times this happening, and I crit for like two hundred fifty thousand. So yeah, I just that immediately just destroyed him. But I don't think that's ever gonna happen <laughs> in like the next two years probably. So yeah, with Ranger, you need some RNG for the opponent to like not throw a special when you have that self root. You want to have them in the corner, which is not the easiest thing when fighting Serpent with because of that inexorable as well. But he's honestly not too bad. I do consider this guy a counter for Serpent. Up next, we have Simbit Supreme. I don't know how well he works, but I've I've, I've heard that people uh, use him sometimes for, for this guy. Now, he's, now that he's a 7-star, but it is usually like 80-second fight. It does take a long time. Um, but I don't know what, how well he you know does with the Death Mirror and all that stuff. Also, some people use Sasquatch, but only reason is because he just has so much HP. And he's actually pretty 
under radar attack. Now we have Tigra and Waken. Those two champions, they can dex this guy's specials. If you've been, let's say, push this guy to special two, you can dex this guy's specials if you have that neutralized before he throws it. Now, for Wiccan, it's not that big of a problem because the neutralize lasts longer. But for Tigra, if he if he just doesn't throw the special immediately, the neutralize is gonna fall off because it doesn't last too long for Tigra. And you're gonna just you're just forced to block it. So let's say you get some good RNG. Sure, yeah, you can do Serpent, but if you get to 1% and you are unlucky, that 125% chance death immunity, there's still 25% chance of that happening because your neutralize is only 100% chance. So if that happens, like I said, the power gain here is not a buff. He just gets power, bars of power like crazy. And if he doesn't throw the specials, you know, he goes red and then you know what's going to happen. So they are good counters, but there is that chance. It's not high that, but you know, it can happen that you just get wrecked. And then you can, you can say that, I guess, Werewolf and White Tiger can be like decent counters, but I wouldn't really use them unless you have the rank advantage or like the maximum rank of those champions. Like Werewolf is cool. Uh, I would only use, use Werewolf if there's like additional buffs on the defender, because if there's additional buffs on the defender, your special two does, you know, make more uh, burst, physical burst, which is really nice, uh, addition to his damage. And he also has some healing if he's awakened. But I don't really consider him like a safe counter because there is a very high chance you just die, even if you get him to that 1%. So you can clearly see there's a lot less counters for this guy. I might have missed some, but if I've missed some, it's because they're just not too common, which means they're not just too great. So what is Kabam usually doing when there's a tough defender? So for Photon, they created Patriot, Bullseye, shield and i'm not saying like they they made those champions for photon specifically like they did for like uh teenage warhead but uh you know patrick is pretty much made for photon but the problem the, the thing is we already had enough counters for photon we just didn't know about it because she was just overpowered when she she came to the game but for bullseye they made teenage warhead and they buffed mr sinister amazing counter for him now what i'm worried about is they can do the same thing for Serpent. And I'm not saying I don't want counters for Serpent, but Serpent, in my opinion, is too overpowered. And if they want to make someone that counters this overpowered defender, in my opinion, they're gonna need to bring someone that's overpowered on attack. So yeah, I just I just don't want that to happen. I much rather see this guy get a little bit nerfed. I don't say nerfed to the ground, but take something away from him. And then you can find easier counters like if let's say let's say they they make that 125 percent chance for the death immunity to 100 percent chance you immediately can bring any neutralized champion and counter this guy like it's not like it's gonna be an easy fight he's still super tanky with their resistance ups he still does that block damage it's like it's, he's still very much challenging in my opinion but it's just unfair when you get a neutralized which is supposed to block every single buff but then because this guy just has a 125% chance, just ruins your day. Like even this guy's stats are, are super, super crazy. So he is going to be a really challenging defender. I just wish he was fair. So if you were to ask me to like do something for Serpent, I would either make this 10% of bar of power per second. I would make this a buff so that you can block it. So let's say he triggers the death immunity from that 125% chance. You can at least counter the extra power gain he's going to get. You're not going to counter the regen because it's part of the death immunity buff, but you would at least counter the power gain. So that's what I would do. Or I would tune down the resistance up. The resistance up is just way too OP because it also pops up for like the first 15 seconds of the fight and it's just there for the whole fight. And then if you pair it with the critical resistance, it's just way too much, man. He just never takes damage. So... I would either do something about the resistance up or the power gain from the special three. I would much rather uh, counter his awakening ability though, because that's the biggest issue. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about Serpent. I was just honest here. I just wanted this guy to get nerfed. Hopefully, Kabam reconsiders. I'm not the only one making a video for this. You probably have watched some other videos from creators as well. So yeah, hopefully the community wins 
and kabam listens. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.